Today, I'll be relocating an NFL franchise to Paris, France. But first, we're gonna reset the entire NFL. Keep in mind, this does include the new rookies. So JJ McCarthy, Drake May, Caleb Williams, they're all in the pool of players. We've reset the entire NFL. I'm simming to the end of the draft. I don't want a single say in France's squad. I was trying to think of a good mascot for the Paris team, but I'm gonna be honest, the only thing I know about Paris is all the times I brought your mom to the Eiffel Tower. All right, gentlemen, the NFL has been reset. I'm not gonna lie. I saw that we got round one pick one, so I have a pretty good idea of who my quarterback is. The Cardinals depth chart. We did. We took Patrick Mahomes round one pick one. This is our franchise QB for the France squad. We also have Davis Mills and Dorian Thompson Robinson. We actually have some nice young depth. I've never once had like a God tier quarterback right at the start. So this is gonna be a really fun rebuild. Our second best, dude, what? We're just rebuilding the Kansas City Chiefs. Our second best player is Chris Jones. Then we have Antoine Winfield, DJ Moore, Dre Greenlaw, Kenny Moore, Eric McCoy, Zadarius Smith, Garrett Bowles, Jacoby Myers, Devon Achan, amazing young running back to get. Cam Taylor Britt, Kirby Joseph. Not gonna lie, a lot of our best talent is a little bit older. Chris Jones, seven years in the league. Winfield's pretty young. We're kind of right in the middle, actually. Sedaria Smith's definitely older. This is a really interesting team. I don't know how I feel about it. Before we go any further, we gotta get over to Paris, France. I'm very sorry, State Farm Stadium but it's time to relocate. Paris, France. If you chose Paris, the city of light would light up with passion for its new home team. It's a large market size with a front runner personality. All of my players will get paid in euros. I don't know the conversion. Sorry to be such an American, but like what is Paris known for? Paris is known for many things, including its monuments, romance, history. What's an iconic animal in France? The Gaelic rooster. The French rooster is widely used as a religious symbol, the sign of hope and faith. Is there like a chicken mascot? I don't think there's a chicken. Nor a rooster. A condor? I'm trying to think if I know anyone who's French. Well, well, well. You're French, right? No, I'm, no, I'm German. Can you just pretend? I... I'm making a Madden team and I need a mascot. I'm relocating to Paris, France. So what should the mascot be? What should the mascot be? Yes. A seagull. Why? I don't know. It's just what I think of when I think of France. You are about as helpful as I was. All right. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a splendid day. <laughs> That's it? That's all I got. Well, that didn't work. Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. Madden 25 does not actually have a Gaelic rooster. That's my bad. That's on me. I'm leaving this one up to the French fans, and the fan interest is strong on the Bisons. They're powerful beasts, strong, fast, and agile. They make formidable foes. There's no way there's... Are there bison? Are there bison? Yes, there are bison in France, including herds and reserves and reintroduced populations in the wild. Let's go. I'm actually gonna bring a traditional stadium to France. I feel like France, like they know sports well enough that I don't gotta go weird and do a futuristic stadium, all right? This isn't the United Arab Emirates. All right, we're doing the traditional stadium for France. It's Bison Field in Paris, France. That's actually so sick. All right, so here's the offensive lineup. Let's take a look at our franchise QB and his new threats. Patrick, I, dude, I've never had so Somebody like Patrick Mahomes to start a franchise. This is actually sick. I really like these Bison's unis, dude. That shit's kind of fire. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, Mahomes has insane abilities. Um, and he's 27. I'd like to get a Super Bowl within four years. But even if we need six or seven, Mahomes will still be insanely good. So I don't think we'll ever have to worry about quarterback, which is always my number one worry. So this is really cool. I'm gonna start Greg Dolchich because he is star dev. I do like our offensive line. It's honestly pretty solid. Our wide receivers, DJ Moore, Jacoby Myers, two guys that can definitely develop really well, especially DJ Moore. He's such a monster franchise. And honestly, we got the best developing halfback in this entire game. Devon Achan always develops like a freak show and he's so fast that he's just OP. 96 speed, that's amazing. Now defensively, honestly, is where I do have some issues with this team. As much as I like Chris Jones, he's definitely older and as much as I like Zedaria Smith he is definitely older um we don't have a lot of young talent here I like Antoine Winfield he'll grow in well same with Kirby Joseph so I think our safeties are good but linebackers leave a lot to be desired Dre Greenlaw is nice and I gotta give it up to my computer for drafting well we are gonna run a 4-3 defense so four defensive linemen and three linebackers this means that our edge pressure is coming from our defensive edges and we need two big boys in the middle 
I've got one of the best in the league right here. And then Zedarius Smith should apply good pressure. And then Drake Greenlaw, he is the quintessential pass coverage linebacker. He's so good. So this is like the exact guy we need back there. I think our focus moving forward is going to be drafting young edge rusher talent and potentially young middle linebacker talent. I think offense is in a good spot. I wouldn't hate to give Patrick Mahomes a better tight end. I wouldn't hate to draft maybe a right guard, but I got to give it up to the computer. They did a really, this is a really solid reset. I am going to run one year with this team, but I wouldn't be shocked if I'm trading Chris Jones later on this season. I don't know if I really want the two core Kansas City guys on, on this team. I want it to be a unique team. It's a squad. <laughs> Shit is a cakewalk. Are you kidding me? I think we just got a buy in the wild card. Season one, we're 14 and three. Honestly, I mean, having Patrick Mahomes kind of does that. Let's take a look. Let's take a look around the league. All right, so Lamar was the league's leading passer. Lamar B. Jordan Love came in second. Mahomes is third. Brock Purdy, then Derek Carr, then Anthony Richardson. Sam Howell actually had a really good season. Caleb Williams, 11th. That's a hell of a rookie career. He ended up on the Saints. Who else can we see? Drake May with the Titans was all right. And there's Jaden Daniels on the Niners, 24 and 10. On the ground, Devon Achan honestly did not do as well as I anticipated. 957 and seven touchdowns, two fumbles. It's all right, but you usually expect a lot more out of him. Through the air though, DJ Moore, that's gotta be one of the best in the league. He might get a dev trade upgrade for that. Go up to Superstar X Factor, 14, 59, and 12. And Jacoby Myers with 1,213 touchdowns. We were insane through the air and not so great on the ground. We were basically the Kansas City Chiefs. Dude, I'm about to trade Mahomes. I don't want to rebuild with Mahomes. It's too easy. Dre Greenlaw is going to start out with 120 tackles, 13 TFLs, a sack. It's a really good season for him. Kaiser White with a very solid season. Looks like we got three interceptions out of Kenny Moore and two out of Kirby Joseph. We are not... Ooh. All of our pressure came from Chris Jones. 14 and a half sacks, six and a half out of Zedaria Smith, and six from Dorrance Armstrong. This is what I'm most worried about is the fact that my D-line is not getting any better. They're, they're, they're really good right now, but Zedarius going on his eighth year, Chris Jones going on his seventh. That's, or actually, sorry, Chris Jones going on his eighth, Zedarius on his ninth. That's a little scary. Mahomes gets MVP. This shit is fucking spoon-fed. Oh my God. You can get a whole lot of Mahomes though. I might go for a wicked rebuild here. We get a buy in the wild card. This takes us to the divisional. I want to see if we just smack this team around before I step in and watch. Oh my God. Whoa. We lost to the Seattle Seahawks. What happened? I didn't expect that. I thought we were going to smack him and I could go watch the divisional. Postseason divisional. Let's take a look at the box score. Seattle has Jalen Hurts. Somewhere in an alternate universe, Jalen Hurts outplays Patrick Mahomes on Seattle. They each had a touchdown and no interceptions. On the ground though, Brian Robinson took over. Same with James Conner. Look at the dual running back threat that they're running. Brian Robinson and James Conner who had two rushing touchdowns. Devon Achan has not got it going yet with this team. That does make me sad. DJ Moore had another big game. And in year one, one, we fall a little bit short, but now I'm thinking about making a very significant change to this roster. All right, 2023 season, Jamal Adams is MVP on the Vikings. They just barely beat the Broncos. We did win NFL MVP. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Puka Nakua. Defensive Rookie of the Year is Ivan Pace. We also got Coach of the Year. All right, Paris France needs a revamp, though. This isn't like, dude, I'm not going to sit here and do a Kansas City Chiefs jerk-off session. Let's get weird. Now, I've never used Patrick Mahomes, so I'm actually excited to use him. I'm going to keep him on the squad, but I do think at age 30, Superstar X Factor, two years left on his contract, 98 overall. Let's get a haul for Chris Jones. First, let's find a team who's really interesting. We need a playoff contender with cap space who needs a detail. Ironically, the Seattle Seahawks are that team. We just lost two in the playoffs. This was either the smartest decision I've ever made or the stupidest decision I've ever made. Chris Jones is headed to the Denver Broncos. DK Metcalf is now a Paris Bison. We also got their this year's first, third, and fourth round pick. Holy shit. Now, before we even look at that trade, we've got some drafting to do. Our first pick is round one, pick 15. We do kind of need to replace either Chris Jones or just get a different edge rusher. Brian Heenan looks like a really solid prospect, but he's an outside linebacker, so I'd have to switch him to defensive end, which isn't the end of the world. Ooh, great speed, great jumping, elite acceleration on Thad Oliver. He looks like a good option too. Oh my God, look at Rashard Boyd. Great in everything, elite jumping, good strength. I think this is our guy. He's already a right end. Let's go Rashard Boyd and hope that he's hidden depth. That is a huge pickup in the first round. We've got young edge rushing talent. 
It's exactly what I love to see. Now we did just trade Chris Jones, so we're gonna use this pick on the best D tackle available, Jerry Chambers. I don't think he's, great speed, great excel agility. He could be hidden dev actually. 6'2 power rusher, hidden dev. Jerry Chambers, let's go. So, so far out of the Chris Jones trade, we've gotten DK Metcalf, guaranteed talent, and now a hidden dev D tackle who hopefully can develop into a Chris Jones. And we still have one more pick in the first round. With that pick, I am gonna take offensive line because this guy's just too good to pass up on. Calvin Duvall, elite excel agility. Good strength is not the best for a tackle, but I think he's hidden dev and that's why I want him. 88 strength, 84 excel, hidden dev. Not that his excel matters, I guess, for getting to the second level. I don't know, it's a great offensive lineman though. Uh, I might move him to right guard depending on what our team needs. But so far, here are some spectacular draft picks. I'm really excited about what we've got. Now it's really just gonna come down to what overall these guys are. But keep in mind for this draft class, I have everything set to normal. So nothing is juiced here. We're just kind of getting what's available. I'm gonna pick up Moses Sampson out of Stanford. He's 91 speed, 92 excel. He is hidden dev in the second round. That's huge. I did not think he was gonna be hidden dev. Wow, four for four on hidden devs. A really, really good first class. And I'm not gonna push my luck. I'm gonna let the CPU take over. It's a good start. All right, boys, the draft recap. My favorite part. Damn, good draft. Oh my God, look what the CPU got. All right, Rashard Boyd, our first round pick, a 74 overall. It's actually pretty good for an edge rusher. Chambers, D-tackle, 72. Looking for a little more there. Our right tackle, Calvin Duvall, a 74. So three hidden devs, 72 plus in the first round. It's a great first round draft. Now, Moses Sampson, he is hidden dev. But he's a 67 overall. It kind of sucks. But then look at how hard the CPU went. They got an 83 speed halfback. Buddy, you are a fullback. You're out of your mind if you think you're... You're playing behind Devon HN. But look at this pickup. 74 overall middle linebacker in the third round by the CPU. Tori Vereen out of LSU. Hidden dev middle linebacker. This is the exact player that we were looking for on this scheme. Not only that, but he's a field general. This is exactly what we wanted. 90 speed is... A Actually, 90 speed on middle linebacker is great. His intangibles are sick. His excel is great. This is a monster pickup. That's why, I, hey, I tell you what, sometimes the CPU just knows what's up. All right, let's take a look at the entire league. Oh my God, this was a monster class. This on normal strength is crazy. You can adjust the strength of your draft classes and I'm on normal for all positions. So to see Josh Clifford, Steve McKay, Neil Gregory, Zeke Ford, all 80 plus is nuts. All three of these, all four of these guys went in the first round. So it does look like we could have drafted a little bit better with how much talent's up here. There's so many 76 pluses and we got the best was a 74. The exciting part is everything we got is hidden dev. So it, it definitely could have been a better draft class, but I like what we got, especially what we got for trading Chris Jones. All right, boys, take a look at your year two squad. So we've got Mahomes still. It's all the way up to an 88 overall. And we've got, dude, we have the best wide receiver core in the league. I probably didn't need DK Metcalf. I just wanted him. DJ Moore is an X Factor. Jacoby Myers is superstar. And DK, of course, is an X Factor. We've got Bolchich now a superstar. There's Duvall, our new rookie pickup on the offensive line. And the rest of the offensive line looking great. Defensively, there's Tori Vereen. Greenlaw's looking good. Winfield, Moore, Armstrong. There's Chambers in for Chris Jones. Zedaria Smith regressed as we kind of knew. So yeah, it's really defense that we got to pay some attention to. I think Chambers and Vereen is a really good start, but we're going to have to get somebody in for Zedaria Smith starting next season or that's going to be a useless spot right there. We do have a few offers here for Drew Dahlman. The Eagles are willing to give up BJ Ojolari along with a fourth and two sevenths. This is our backup center, people. We are taking that. All right, year two, let's go to mid-season, see how we're doing. It's not as hot of a start as we had last season, but we are a bit of a lopsided squad. We have a 91 offense and an 84 defense. I don't know if that trade I made was the right call, but we're four and three. Mahomes is second in the league in passing yards. In front of him is Deshaun Watson, and in third is Raheem Woodson on the New England Patriots. I've never seen that in a sim. I've never seen a Patriots quarterback do that well. Especially a rookie. That guy's a rookie. Let's head to the playoffs. Hopefully we can make them. That's how you win the NFC West, baby! Paris. Dude, I gotta learn some French for this. Bonjour. Dude, we are a 93 offense and an 89 defense. It sounds like it was a good season. Devon Etchan in his most recent game, 122 yards, two touchdowns. Hopefully... He did have a bigger season because his last season was a lackluster. Mahomes, another MVP performance. He probably got it. <laughs> Devon HN breakout season. He just needed one year under his belt, bro. Sophomore season for HN. 1,315. Only one fumble, too. He doubled his yards. He halved his fumbles. He doubled his touchdowns. That's a monster. 
was going to be talking about Mahomes, though. 4 480 and 2. DJ Moore, another insane season. Jacoby, what? DK Metcalf took a backseat to Jacoby? How did I let that happen? Okay, this is gonna be the goofiest shuffle ever, but I think I'm trading DK. We had one year with DK Metcalf, I think I'm trading him. Cause dude, Jacoby's putting up fucking Justin Jefferson numbers. What is with Jacoby Myers? Oh, well we get another buy in the wild card because we're at the top of the NFC West. Moves us to the division where we're taking on the nine and eight Falcons. All right, I'm gonna run the roster as is, but I think I'm trading DK. I don't usually make this many trades, but I think I've made a few errors here. So the Falcons have Tyree Kill, Frank Ragnall, Aaron Jones, a lot of offense. Denzel Ward, Rashawn Gary, Jordan Love, Christian Gonzalez. This is a sick team. Rishi Rice. Dude, Jordan Davis. Dude, this team is going to be a fucking nightmare in the future. They've got, I mean, they got to afford everybody, but they got Jordan Davis, Rishi Rice, Christian Gonzalez, Jordan Love, Denzel Ward. Yeah, I mean, Tyreek's the only guy really on their team that's aging out. Holy shit. And he's a 99 overall. This is going to be a good game. All right, let's play this one. 89 overall. Bison is taking on the 88 over Atlanta Falcons. We got home field advantage. They got to fly to Paris, baby. I will not lose my first home Paris, France playoff game to Arthur Smith. Hype them up, Mahomes. Get these boys ready. I'm playing defense, offense, and then I gotta let the team take over. Keep in mind, we have no abilities on defense. I have been an offensive-minded coach. We're trying to sell tickets in France, all right? We just we just became a franchise. But we'll start off with a good stop there. Second and nine. Luckily, Jordan Love has not gotten abilities yet either. So the only abilities I got on offense is Aaron Jones and Tyreek Hill. Now, both of those are pretty scary. But I'm right over the middle, Kaiser White. Nice work. Third and four. I don't want to give him time. Let's send a blitz. Oh, it's a slip screen? No, he throws over the middle. Make your tackles, boys. Rishi Rice breaks one. Tackled by Greenlaw. It's first and goal. Only two yards to go. We got to run commit middle. The rookie, Tony Vereen. Can you make a big stop here, buddy? Oh, he's got the ball. <gasps> That's exactly how you run play action. It's 21 to seven. The Falcons are putting up points like no other. But I get my first drive on offense. And I'm going to be honest. I see some things I like. I tell you what, Jacoby Myers... He's becoming my favorite on this team. There he is in man coverage. Tough contested catch. Got a two minute drill here. We do have all three timeouts. We've got Hot Route Master. Wow, what a good feeling that is. There's Greg Dolchich who's wide open. Great ball. Doesn't break the tackle. We've got DJ. Dude, literally every person we could throw to other than Devon Achan has an ability. And I'll still throw it to Devon Achan. We gotta preserve a little clock here, get out of bounds. Oh no, oh no, forward progress. We did not get out of bounds there. There's Jacoby Myers in a nice little window. Huge catch. 10 seconds on the clock, we got one timeout. We gotta put up a touchdown for the boys here. I think if this is man coverage, I think we go right back to Jacoby Myers. I'm putting a scissor concept on the left side. Not the same scissoring that your mom and your sister do. I'm talking about the one where Jacoby Myers tortures his man to the back of the end zone for six points. Let's go, baby. All right, that's all the impact I can have. We still have, we, we're still losing by seven. Here's gonna be the final play of the game on fourth and 18, the clock runs out and I did just lose. I know this is gonna sound really stupid because I traded Chris Jones, but we need defense. <laughs> Can't be letting somebody put up 35 on us. It's my fault. It was a bad trade, but we did get a lot of draft capital out of it. And out of that draft capital, we got a ton of good players. All right, well, I'm not getting any awards for GM of the year because I am trading DK and he regressed to superstar. Yeah, I'm not winning GM of the year. DK Metcalf and my this year's second round pick. I did have to give up a pick to make this go through. We get Will Anderson Jr., who's only 23 years old, already 90 overall, but he's only star dev. So we do need him to have a really good season to get superstar. We still have a first round pick this year to hopefully get a little bit more defensive talent. Let's see what's on the board and available. I'm gonna trade this pick away. There's absolutely nothing that I can use. There's a lot of safeties. Look at this. The Dolphins are gonna give me next year's first, second, and fourth. That's an excellent offer. Now, I don't have a first or a second this year though because I just traded that second for Will Anderson. So that leaves our next pick in the third round. I'm letting the CPU take it. Draft recap. Hey, we got a 72 overall wide receiver in the third round, and I did just trade DK. Although Desmond Cosby is definitely not 22 years old. The rest of these picks were all just total whiffs. They'd be like that sometimes. Let's see what we missed out on in this class. An 83 middle linebacker is the best player in the class. A monster quarterback, 81. And then Caleb Raymond, 
out of George, an 80 overall corner. I'm all right with this. I wasn't going to go for any of those guys anyway. All right, let's take a peek at this lineup. Look at Jacoby Myers. I've never seen an X-Factor Jacoby Myers. That's crazy. Paris France is doing him justice. Hey, and we have Jalen Naylor, Michigan State University. That's our third string wide receiver. He's certainly not a stud right now, but we can work with it. Devon Achan has got superstar. That's amazing. Dolch is still rocking. Duval's looking really good. And McGarry's now at left tackle, so offensive line still looks honestly amazing. Defensively, we've got Vereen at star chambers at normal depth so he's actually regressed we got to get ojalari in this lineup but kirby joseph and winfield are great kenny moore and cam taylor Britt are great i like like this is so i've never seen this in all my time playing madden i've never seen an x factor jacoby myers deep in elite give him mid in elite all in cutting routes jacoby myers is built for look at hn dude this is a ridiculous card evasive energizer goal line back yeah it's actually really good really good stack all right here's the new look lineup i just gotta get an ability on this defense it's actually an incredibly well-rounded, really good defense. I just need an ability. Will Anderson, I think, is going to be our guy, though. So, he's a 91 overall with absolutely insane stats. He's such a good edge rusher. The excel, the speed, the finesse moves, even the block shed is there. Just got to get him home consistently. I think he can do it. Offensively, we have absolutely no issues. We have fucking monsters at every position on offense. I love my offense. I just got to get somebody here to break out. That's all. That's all it's going to take. We'll sim to midseason. We'll see how this roster's looking. Ooh, the Bisons are five and two. We're off to a hot start. We're coming off a win against the Jaguars. Low scoring game, but I like to see a low scoring game. It does mean my defense is improving. I want to see how our players are doing defensively halfway through the season. Because I, I, I already know Mahomes is going to be having a good season. Yeah, 15 and two. He's killing it. Eight chance at 544 and five. By the way, the correct pronunciation is Devon Achan. I am 1000% sure. Devon Achan. I literally looked up an interview where someone asks him, literally asks him how he pronounces it, how it's supposed to be pronounced, and that's what he says. So suck my dick and or my balls and or my balls. DJ Moore, Dolchich, Jalen Naylor, Jacoby Myers. Okay, so what's going on? How is Jalen Naylor, how is Jalen Naylor getting reps like that over Jacoby? Whatever. Hey, Jalen Naylor is going to be a stud. Okay, Tory Vereen's having an awesome season. Who's getting home on the quarterback? Will Anderson's got three... Rashard Boyd's got two and a half. And then three interceptions already for Kenny Moore. Two for Antoine Winfield and one for Kaiser White. Okay, I'd like to see a little more sacks out of Will Anderson. Though. In every single season, we have been killing it. And we're coming off a win against the Seahawks. We're 12 and five, taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Bisons versus Eagles. The Vikings have the one seed, so they got the bye. The Bills are the one seed. They got the bye on the other side of the bracket. Looks like we'll be taking on, I don't know who we'll be taking on. Mahomes is actually fourth in the league in passing yards. This is a, a slow season for him. Lamar Richardson, Caleb Williams, James Pierman, Josh Allen, and Jordan Love all at least in passing yards outperformed, but still 35 and 5 is spectacular. Less interceptions than all those guys. Saquon Barkley almost hit 2,000 rushing yards. That's nuts. 1960 on 23. He's on the Buccaneers. A Chan with 1,312. DJ Moore with 1,365 and 8. Jacoby Myers, 920 and 10. Yeah, it was, a, it was a slow passing year for us, but our best record. Tory Vereen, 140 tackles, three TFLs, three sacks, and two interceptions. That's a monster season for him. He's going to probably get a depth trade upgrade. Will Anderson, 11 sacks. That's what we like to see. I don't know if that's a dev trade. We'd like to see it. Chambers got home five and a half. Boyd got home four and a half. So both these guys are young draft picks in the same class. Both performing really well in their sophomore season. So I'm happy with that. Got three uh, interceptions out of Kenny Moore. Two out of Greenlaw, two out of Winfield. Defense is getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. 91 offense, 88 defense. Let's see if we can get past the Eagles. And I'll step in to watch the divisional. W, 28 to 21. We're taking on Caleb Williams' Saint squad who's 12 and five. This Saints team is really good, especially because they went with a young quarterback. So they were able to draft big positions elsewhere. 99 Stingley, 99 Josh Jacobs, 98 Rashawn Slater, Mike Evans, Carl Laftis, Caleb Williams, Tevin Jenkins, Jermaine Johnson. That's a sick team. New Orleans Saints versus the Paris Bisons, baby. I think we're home field on this one too. Yeah, we're in Paris, baby. I've heard stories that DK Metcalf does like to take women to the Eiffel Tower. So maybe we should not have traded. Also, I'm just gonna be honest with you fellas. If you don't get that joke, like you don't understand it, you shouldn't be watching my videos. Get a couple reps in here on defense. The team isn't too significantly different from last time I checked in. We've just leveled up. We do have Will Anderson now, which is really nice. But I really like the core of our defense. Dre Greenlaw, Tony Vereen, Winfield up high, Will Anderson on the D-line. Pretty sick team. A little scared of Josh Jacobs, though. He's freaking me out. 
Ooh, Kenny Moore. Second and eight. I'm blitzing Winfield and Vereen. I'm gonna cover with Dre Greenlaw. I'd love to see a run left side. Oh my God. I'm horny. No, I'm not. That's a counter. That was a good play call. Perfectly countered what I did right there. Top on Tony Vereen again. I'm not scared. We're gonna play smart all game. Okay, okay. Who is that? Is that Mike Evans? No. Stop. Dude, they're breaking every tackle. Here we go, boys. Tony Vereen sack. That's the goal on this plate right here. Maybe a TFL? I don't know, but I'm antsy. Get right through Vereen. Now we disguise the blitz. Will Anderson and Rashard Boyd in pass coverage. They'll never expect it. Although, that's very bad. Vereen, way to get off your block, buddy. Kirby Joseph flies down for a nice tackle. We're just gonna go straight man coverage here. I gotta believe in my defense. Yes, sir! Antoine Winfield! I would do this team no justice if I didn't fucking air this ball out. Oh, just kidding. Give me single coverage. Give me a single coverage look. Look at Dolchich, though. Wide open is Greg Dolchich. Can he get through this? Good juke. Vaughn A-chain is too damn fast. Look at that. Let's see a block out of those tight ends. Second and 12. Oh, DJ Moore. Teach that rookie a lesson. There is no way that Patrick Mahomes just missed that throw, right? That's all right. We can get it right back right here. Just kidding. The offensive line collapses. We're looking at fourth and 12. It's three to three. Saints respond with another field goal. Paris responds with another field goal. We're rocking a six to six game. Six to 13. A touchdown of our own. 13 to 13 with two minutes left. The Bisons have the ball just across the 40. Come on, baby. Take me to the NFC Championship. Big laser caught. CJ Moore in a pit of Saints. Use as much clock as you can. Score with no time. Devon HN. We're in a strong set. Fullback offset to the right. That's actually a backup tight end at fullback. He's going to lead block and it looks like HN's. You could drive an F-150 through that puppy. That hole was massive. Caleb Williams. Nice throw, but it's broken up. Oh, the pressure's on. Caleb Williams got to throw it away again. It's they have to go for this, right? I mean, they technically have three timeouts. Fourth and 10, they're in the danger zone. You gotta convert here or it's a wash. We send five, they pick up the blitz nicely, but we get home on Caleb Williams. It's Chambers. Our Chris Jones replacement just made a massive play in the playoffs. We move on for our first time to the championship game. Mahomes really didn't even do that much, dude. I think it was Devon Achan. Yeah, two touchdowns from him and then Defensively, we played a really good game. Two sacks for Chambers and an interception for Kenny Moore. Oh, our next opponent is the Vikings who won the Super Bowl, I think the first season, but not the second. So in 2023, they won it. 2024, it was Giants Bills and the Bills won. Look at our squad, dude. 99 Mahomes, 99 DJ, 99 HN, 98 Winfield, 96 Will Anderson. This is obviously boosted with morale, but still. Vikings are gonna have the same thing though, cause they're in the same game we are. We got 99 Brock Purdy, 99 Athletic Josh Allen, 96 Greg Newsom, Jordan Addison back on the Vikings. Jordan Mailata, Marcus Williams, Steve McKay, a young halfback, and there's Jaden Reed, my Eskimo brother. Yes, we certainly did have sex with the same girl. <laughs> I say that every fucking time. Okay, I gotta stop doing that shit. I gotta stop. Conference championship, boys, the NFC chip. This one will be played in Minnesota, so we're heading back to the States. Let's see what we can do. Look at these two, Brock Purdy, Patrick Mahomes. Wow, I didn't even put that together. It's another Brock Purdy, Patrick Mahomes matchup. It's just the rest of the teams look a little bit different. Although it's kind of similar because Brock Purdy's team does have an overall advantage on us. They are slightly better. I don't want to have a say in this game. I just want to let the boys play. Paris is on the board first. Minnesota responds, 14 to seven, Paris 14 to 14, 17, 14. We got a high scoring match, 24, 14. Can we stop the Vikings here and potentially ice this game early? There's three seconds left in the third quarter. Will they snap it? Just gonna let it go. All right, gentlemen, there's Brock Purdy. Can like a handoff. It is, there's the handoff right there, stuffed. Brock's flushed out by Will Anderson. He's gotta throw it away. That's gonna be a turnover on downs. There's no way they go for this. Devon Achan has been great all game. Here's a counter run, bounces one. This is the biggest play of the game right here. If we don't get this, we gotta settle for the field goal and hand the ball back over. It's a pretty deep field goal too. There's the handoff. Easy. Easy. 20 rushes, 104 yards, two touchdowns, and that's all she wrote. The Super Bowl, baby! It's year three. 
The Paris Bisons have been good every single year they've been in the league, but they've never been able to finally make it all the way to the big game. All of that changes. Why does that look like Christian McCaffrey? Is that supposed to be Drake May? It is supposed to be Drake May. I think they used Christian McCaffrey's face cam for Drake May. That's super confused me. We'll take over on offense and start out this Super Bowl. So many offensive threats. Ooh, but there's a screamer off the edge. Doesn't get picked up. Because he's just so fast. How do you keep up with this man? He's so fast. A huge juke. I gotta give him a try. I gotta give him a try. That ball's just a little out of bounds. Eight hands fast, so I don't know. Can we wait for him? We Oh, I see my boy Greg Dolchich makes a huge catch. But Devon Eight Chan's just fast enough that it's gonna work. There's the play action. Just a little bit of time. The I only think... Oh, he didn't step out. The backup tight end who had Jatavion Sanders' first touchdown scorer for plus 10,000. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to let my team take over. One touchdown in the Super Bowl is already a pretty big boost. It's 7-7. Seven to seven. Now 7-10. to ten. Tennessee's defense is holding. It's 10-10. to ten. It's 16-10. to ten. They either went for two or missed the PAT. And on our next drive, we get in field goal range. It's all defense in this Super Bowl. Now that we're kicking, we've got a problem. Because we make this, but it's 13-16. to 16. They have the ball with three minutes. We need some flawless defense or we're not going to win this Super Bowl. Out comes Drake May for the biggest drive of his career. I need some pressure, boys. Jerry will... Okay, little check down going absolutely nowhere. There's a handoff right there. He gets juked out anyway. 99 Brees Hall is not messing around. This is going to be a run from Brees Hall, so let's get up there. Let's load this up and get ready. Oh, no. If he's out of bounds, that's our only chance for this game to still be alive. Oh, my God. This is going to come right down to it. There's one more handoff to Brees Hall. Goes down instantly. It's fourth and nine. We've got a minute. It's a minute drill to get in field goal range or score a touchdown. Yeah, let that go through. Let that go through. Beautiful. The biggest drive of our lives and we're throwing check downs in the middle? What on fucking earth are you doing? No, get to the boundary or get deep. Mahomes, another one. Another, hey, hey at least that one's incomplete. Clock is stopped. Third and six in the Super Bowl. There's another one to Dolchic. It's caught, but guys, can we look at the damn clock? We go no huddle, 30 seconds. Maybe I should just believe. Maybe I should just believe. Mahomes, very clean pocket. Check down to HN. We don't have the clock for these shenanigans. There's Dude, it's going to be game over now. Unless we hit a beautiful corner out right now. Mahomes unloads. That might have been some of the most pissed poor clock management I have ever seen. Now we're in Hail Mary. Mahomes is flushed out. He unloads short. What? Flag. The game can't end on a flag. Is that a DPI? On God, tell me that's a DPI. It's a holding on fucking Will Fries. The Paris Bisons just came so stupidly close. A high-powered offensive team puts up three field goals and only one touchdown in the Super Bowl. You're going to lose that game. Now I got to watch the Titans walk out here. Don't dab him up, Mahomes. Get your, yeah, yeah, that's your rival now. Be like Tom Brady and don't ever shake his hand. Honestly, we got outplayed. Mahomes had 228 yards and a touchdown and we still lost this game look at Brees Hall though 99 Brees Hall was a menace 19 for 101 HM was good too I really don't know how we lost this game it's the fact we just couldn't convert we need to convert touchdowns not field goals boys tough loss here for the Paris Bisons tough loss this season boys let's gear up and get ready for next season all right coming off a Super Bowl loss we've got 95 million cap kind of want to make a big move but dude look at how pitiful this free agent classes. Ryan Robinson, Matt Milano. Uh, there's just, there's almost nobody even worth picking up. A very veteran Darius Slay is not the worst idea. Other than that, man, I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna pick up vet Darius Slay. Still an 84 overall with 91 speed. Try and get him for a single year. Make it player friendly for him. He's already interested. Basically just picking up a vet for a Super Bowl push, but yeah, there's not much going there. All right, boys, it's the NFL Draft. And if you remember, in 2025, I traded my pick to the Miami Dolphins, who ended up sucking this year. Round one, pick eight from the Miami Dolphins. So we're going to get a monster here. Pretty hard to pass on a guy like this. Cameron Johnson to bolster my linebacker core. Great excel, change of direction, jumping speed, and elite agility. Marginal strength. But I'm thinking this is a hit and a stud. And there he is. A pass coverage linebacker. Exactly what we need. 84 speed, 88 excel. 6'2", 230 out of Ohio State with hit and depth. Thank you, Miami. I think we're building a, a serious dynasty in France right now. We also still retain our round one pick. We also have the Dolphins' second round pick. We have so many good picks here. Here's George Widener, Texas right tackle. I am actually, that's a whiff right there. Thought this guy looked like a stud. Normal dev right tackle. I wanted to boost the O-line just because it's getting a little bit older, but that's not a good pick. 
Hopefully he's a decent overall. That might save that a little bit. With my second round pick, take a look at Terrence Dumain. He's Michigan State University. He's got elite jumping, some good, some greats, and some solids. Six foot five. And DJ Moore is getting a little older. I'm thinking about the far future of this team, not like the current, because right now, I mean, there's not much we need. I'm going to pick up Terrence Dumain. Round two, pick eight. It's a hidden dev 6'5 wide receiver. Got our, We got ourselves a little baby Megatron. Not really baby. He's actually Megatron size. But he's out of Michigan State, so let's call him Plaxico Burris. Terrence Dumain. All right, I'm going to the end of the draft. We got a awesome, huge wide receiver for the future of this franchise. We got a stud outside linebacker and a not so great tackle. 2026 draft recap. So Cameron Johnson, 73 overall. Widener's a 72, 74 Dumain. Dude, the CPU. Martin Sharpton out of Wisconsin, 70. This dude is a 75 overall and he's normal to have. And then they got a 72 left guard, Greg Byron. Nice work. In the whole league, looks like this is a pretty standard class. 180 overall is a left tackle and then pretty hard fall off. So it's a good draft for us. We also have a trade offer for BJ Ojolari. I'm a sucker for some draft picks, I won't lie. Ooh, Alec Pierce, an old juju. Junior Brown, an 80 overall star tight end? Absolutely. I'm taking Junior Brown. Whenever I'm doing a rebuild, I hate to say, you know, this is the year, but come on, bro. Let's take a look at this squad moving into 2027. We just came dangerously close to Super Bowl. We've got an excellent offensive line, an X-Factor tight end now in Greg Dolchich with a backup Junior Brown, who's a star second year player. Jacoby Myers, DJ Moore, and the new rookie, Terrence Dumain, six foot five. We got Devon A. Chan and Mahomes. So we got a 99 overall backfield. And then defensively, we've got Johnson, who is hidden dev. We got Vereen, now a superstar. Winfield, now a superstar. Greenlaw, Joseph, Kenny Moore. Still got Will Anderson, Boyd, and CTB. I would love to have an ability on Will Anderson by this point, but it is what it is. Now, the good news about this team is even if we don't get it this year, I think this team has so much depth and longevity that we can get it next year but at some point patrick mahomes truly will regress and we're we're in the window right now i will say in my time as gm the bisons have had some insane records we're 14 and 3 eight chan coming off at 147 two rushing touchdown game yeesh is this our best season this is the first season that mahomes led the that's an insane mvp run 4746 and two yeesh eight chan was 1617 <laughs> what the fuck? 1,700 yards, 19 touchdowns? That's gotta be fantasy wide receiver one, right? Myers with a great season, same with Dolchich. Even Dumain was pretty good, 670 and six. Defensively, Vereen with a good season. Will Anderson only got home nine times. Four and a half, four and a half. Not our best defensive season. We just haven't been a, a super solid defensive team. We never have. Gotta buy in the wild card, baby. Take me to the divisional. All right, we're taking on the nine and eight Rams here. It should kind of be a cakewalk. Shouldn't say, yeah, 38 to 17. We smacked the shit out of them. Now we're taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the brackets, boys. In the NFC Championship, it's the Bisons versus the Buccaneers. AFC, oh no. I do not want to see that Chiefs team. That Chiefs team is so scary. Texans versus Chiefs on the other side. All right, all right. Let's see if we can get through the Vikings first. Let's watch this one. We're a 93 overall. Look at that top three. I like this matchup here. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Paris Bisons. This game is in. This is in Paris, baby. Listen, dude, for the fans in France, are you kidding me? In your inaugural season, you get Patrick Mahomes and you get a CTB interception. Where are you going with that ball? All right, third and five. Let's start out with a run to Devon Achan. I like that. Follow your blocks and break them. Yes. It's third and two. I got to keep the drive alive. I think Dolchich might be a touchdown. What a ball. All right, that's all my input. It's seven to three. Now 14 to three. 14 to 6. Oh my god, in the third quarter. This is so close. 14 to 12. What a weird score. 14 to 12. I think Tampa Bay tried to go for two and was unsuccessful. We are passing on first and 10, and that's a touchdown. <laughs> the Bisons are going for the throat. I thought we'd be chewing clock. Jacoby Myers finds the end zone instantly. Just like that, the Paris Bisons put it away. The two possession lead there at the end was too much to overcome. I can't believe they did that. I'm used to them chewing clock. The final score, 12 to 21. 281 yards on 32 for 39. But um, through an interception, couldn't find the end zone. Mahomes did. 
and a chan 18 106 monster and the super bowl is against the houston texans who have a 95 overall offense and a 91 defense exactly matching our squad so here's our final squad going into the second super bowl mahomes moore winfield a chan and anderson all 99 overalls then we got greenlaw ctb jacoby myers mccoy kirby joseph dolchich duval what about the texans what have the texans done with their roster lots of 99s too joe burrow debo samuel and Isaiah Pacheco lead the way. Then they got Asante Samuel Jr. Sam Cosby, Cameron Curl. I mean, I'm scared of their lineup, but I'm not that scared of their lineup. Hollywood. They just got so many good, like, solid players. Mahomes gets MVP once again. Yeesh. All right, taking a look at this lineup before we head into the Super Bowl. Dumaine gets Superstar. Damn, he might have been Superstar at the gates, actually, unless he won an award. That's really good to see. And then defensively, everything looks similar as it always has but kenny moore is now a superstar so we finally got this defense to a spot where i'm really really happy with it it took four years though so it was tough sled all right boys nothing left to say let's play the super bowl we gotta win it this time i don't want to be a cursed franchise we'll be starting this super bowl on offense so many weapons to choose from i'm gonna use coaches suggested plays all the way i don't want to cheese the defense i want to play ball i'm going from this angle too i want to see those bison's unis and all their glory let's go hn get to the edge juke inside Devon, A-Chan. Oh, I see A-Chan again, but that's a risky throw. He caught it. The safety overplays it. No. And it's all Devon, A-Chan. 16 on the ground, 60 in the air. And that's a touchdown on the Super Bowl opening drive. What a start. And now I'll hop on defense, play a little bit. All right, Vereen's got abilities. That's what we like to see. They're gonna go with a jet sweep. They're gonna meet Will Anderson and Tony Vereen, probably the two best players on this defense. Not who you wanna run right into. Joe Burrow has no abilities? Oh, wait a minute. I know what happened. Wait, we gotta tackle him, boys. The Texans have so many abilities on offense that Burrow got phased out. Like he's not activated for some reason. Look at that. All right, first and 10, there's a stretch that looks like they're gonna go to Pacheco a lot and he is. All right, I got Drake Greenlaw in the middle here. Ooh. There's another handoff, Pacheco. We cannot stop this man. Third and one. I want a big stop here in the Super Bowl, but it's risky. There's the run, commit. It pays off. Pacheco goes down finally in the backfield. I'm gonna drop Boyd into coverage. Still gotta send Will Anderson. They're not running this. They're passing. Yes, they're passing. Vereen's ready. He goes low. That's a stop. That's a stop. Let's go. The first down marker disappeared. Just like that, a 7-0 lead. We've got to stop on defense. Slowing down Pacheco has not been easy. But all right, hey, let's sim through the end of the game. That's all the input I could have. Still 7-0. Now 7-7. Now 14-7. Now 21-7. Stay strong, boys. 28-14. 31-14. We smacked them. Let's go. I was going to look in, but it wasn't close. Mahomes and the Paris Bisons have won their first Super Bowl. Let's go, boys. Hey, I wonder who's going to get Super Bowl MVP. There were some big plays in this game. I feel like Devon HN might get it. Oh, wait, but no. Whoever they hold up right there usually gets Super Bowl MVP. So I'm thinking it's probably Patrick Mahomes. Patty Mahomes. Patty Mahomes hoisting that Lombardi. It's nothing new for him, but it is new for him in Paris. The Bisons in Miami win their Super Bowl. Yeah, Pacheco is a monster, dude. I did not enjoy going for him. Take a look at the stats. Oh, Mahomes definitely deserved it. 157 QBR, 270 and three touchdowns. Pacheco at 90 and a touchdown. HN at 1556 and a touchdown. He also had one through the air. Three for 75 and a touchdown. Got 101 out of Jacoby. Got 33 out of Dolchich. We got 40 out of Terrence Dumain. And you know who was non-existent in the Super Bowl? DJ Moore. But hey, DJ Moore got us there. DJ Moore has been our guy. I'm not going to talk shit about DJ Moore. Kenny Moore with 13 tackles, a TFL, and an interception. He damn near could have got it. DeAndre Ash gets a sack. This guy is an absolute nobody. He's a backup D tackle. Chambers got one. Boyd and Vereen each get a half. What a game. CTB also with an interception. It was the turnovers that won us that game. No doubt. No doubt at all, our, our corner stepped up. Well, now that we've achieved the peak goal, it's time to sim five years into the future and see if we put this team in a position to actually coast to a Super Bowl. It's not easy, but I really like where this team's at. We've got cap space, we can re-sign guys. This could be one of our best yet. All right, well, we are a 91 overall in the year 2031. 
So it looks like we've done a lot, right? It seems. Okay, so we got this dude named Herrera. Is that actually an X-Factor fullback? Oh no, it's a tight end. We have an X-Factor tight end. I was about to say, I've never seen an X-Factor fullback. We got somebody named Smallwood, which is what most of my ex-girlfriends call me. Dumaine and Balmer. So the, t the offense, I'm not gonna lie, it's not as potent as it once was. But we have an old and still 98 overall Mahomes. I was wrong. That dude doesn't regress. He's a god. Defensively, Vereen is now the best middle linebacker in the league at 99 overall. Cam Taylor Britt's a 92. Don't forget that this man was an auto-drafted pick from our Miami Dolphins trade by the CPU. So we traded Chris Jones, we got a third rounder from the Dolphins, and the CPU picked Tory Vereen. Not bad. I'd be real shocked if we won any Super Bowls, though. Take a look at the league history, boys. So in 2030, the Cowboys beat the Broncos. In 2029, the Commanders beat the Chiefs. 2028, the Commanders Dynasty. 2027, the Texans beat the Cowboys. And in 2026 is when we were able to do it. One hit wonder, as they say. Mahomes won four? No. Mahomes won three MVPs on the Bisons, though. That's pretty awesome. All right, gentlemen, that's going to be it for this rebuild. I hope you enjoyed the Paris rebuild. And I've got more coming. I appreciate it, boys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.